This song is super fun. It's called I Want the World to Know. Get your dancing shoes on and get up out on your feet and let's sing it together. Thumbs like this. Oh, this I want the world to know. you guys that was an awesome song hey slam kids it's time for a god time devotion for today we are on our easter week of devotionals so if you don't have your take on paper just go to riverhills.tv and print it out from the media page all right so the first thing that we're going to do for day three is read our bible so which scripture are we reading today Ms. we Rose? are reading john 14 2 through 4. john 14 all right so grab your bibles and you're going to look up John again. Now we've been looking up John quite a lot this week, so hopefully you know right where it is. But if not, it's totally fine to go to the table of contents and look for John there in the New Testament section. When you find the page number, you can turn to John. Now, once you find John, you're gonna look up chapter number 14. All right, so big number 14, all right? And when you find big number 14, then inside of big number 14, you're gonna look for verse two. And we're gonna start with verse two, little number two, and we're gonna read all the way down to verse four. All right, so whenever you're ready, Miss Rose, then you go ahead and start reading. All right, there are many rooms in my father's house. If there, if this was not, were not true, I would have told you. I'm going there to prepare a place for you. If I go and do that, I will come back and I will take you to be with me. Then you will also be where I am. You know the way to the place where I am going. Cool, isn't that awesome? Jesus is preparing a place for you and for me up in heaven. So let's grab our take home paper and let's read day three. It says, when Jesus came back from the dead, it proved that what he said was true. So when he says that he's going to prepare a room for us in his father's house, which is huge, he means that too. We can trust what he says. Draw a picture of the coolest house you can imagine and create the most perfect room you can imagine for yourself. So think about your dream house. So, and you're gonna draw it for us. Imagine what, how it would look, what things you would have in it. If you want, break out the color, the glitter, anything you have that will make your house look awesome. So, Miss Rose, if you could have your ultimate dream house, what would it look like? Ooh. What would it include? Well, 
Three stories, of course. Three stories, that's wow, three that's huge. What will it look like inside? Um, Lots of bedrooms. Yeah? Um, wow. For my bedroom, it has to be huge. Huge so bedroom with a big, huge bed? Yeah. Yeah. And then cool. for the bathroom, it has to be huge so I can have like my own spa in it. Ooh, a spa. Wow. And then for my closet, I want it to be a walk-in closet. Oh, yeah, for sure. For all your yeah. shoes, right? Yep. Yeah. Exactly. Ah. Um, what else? How about a pool? A big I would pool. love a pool. Big I love pool. to swim. Outside and inside. Ooh, an inside pool. So when it's cold, you can still go swimming. That's so cool. With a water slide. A water slide. Doesn't that sound awesome? So what would your dream house look like? If you could come up with the biggest, best dream house ever, what would it look like? And I want you to draw a picture of it. If you show it to me on Sunday, that's an extra special prize for you, all right? So let's keep reading. It says, as awesome as your drawing probably looks, as awesome as Miss Rose's dream house just I just visualized how awesome it would look. As awesome as that probably looks, did you know that nothing com is a, that's nothing compared to how amazing heaven really is gonna be? Thank God that he made it possible for us to join him there one day, and that's so true. We get to join him there, and our house is gonna look better than anything we could ever dream up. So uh, the, bottom the bottom tells us that we're going to look. This, th this week and today especially, we're going to be looking for all the ways God keeps his promises to you. There's so many things that God does to keep his promises to you, to me, to all of you guys out there. He, everything that is in his word is true and he keeps those promises. So look for those things. Remember the rainbow? the promise that he made to Noah, that might be something that you see and you remember. You know what? God never flood the earth again, just like he promised that he wouldn't. So there's so many things that you can look for and you can find that will show that, that God keeps his promises to you and to all of us. All right, so stay tuned. There's worship coming right up. Hey, Slam Kids, this song is called Lean On You. So stand up wherever you are and let's sing this song together.
job, you guys. Stay tuned for some more Slam Kids TV. Okay, Slam Kids, this one is a worship song, and it's called Open the Eyes of Your Heart. So let's open the eyes of our hearts, and let's see him for who he really is. Let's sing it together. Get up where you are, and let's worship God. Open the eyes of my heart. love you and we worship you today in Jesus name. Amen.